we are going to move you over here to the sidelines a little bit, Tuna. Because today we have a big package. No, it is not my penis. It is a package. From, uh, from Wizard of the Coast, actually. This is the uh, special secret layer stuff that we haven't gotten for like the longest time here. And, oh, you guys can all see it in the camera here, right? Oh, glorious, glorious 50 FPS, I'll have you guys know. You can see the cat in all its glory. Let's open her up and have a look-see. Uh, this is my trusty knife because all Asians have one of these. For some strange reason, I don't know why. We also only cook with a wok and uh, for some reason we use chopsticks instead of a fork. Or a spoon. It's kind of hard to drink uh, soup from it, but you know, we make it work. All right. It's been eight, actually, I actually don't know if this is going to be the secret lair. It says it was from France, so hopefully it actually is. Let's have a nice look-see here. Look-see in here. Packaging material, of course. Oh, and it is what I think it is. What do we order? Okay, I folded up the notes so that my address is no longer visible. As you guys can see here, we have the Culture Shock's Esper ba uh, Bent. We have the, uh, our show is on Friday, Can You Make It? Along with the Showcase Strixhaven, Culture Shock's Naya, Culture Shock's June, and Culture Shock's Grixis. And I forgot to import the profile for the microphone later, so you're gonna hear a little bit of higher pitch than you're normally hearing it, but it is what it is. Here we are, and the first one is the nice little Grixis box. Got the Esper box. Whoop! Yeah, Jesus Christ. We have a nice little Bant box. Oh man, I ordered quite a bit. Or is there just a lot? This is uh, this is before they've done the reduced packaging, right? So this is our shows on Friday. Can you make it? This is different. It's not the Shocklands. Each one of these costs around 30 euros, I believe. Free post after 100. Culture Shocks Naya, of course. Got the nice little showcase Strixhaven cards. And we have the nice little Shock June, or Shockland June. There we go. Let's do it, everyone. Let's do it. And if you guys are new with us, you're very welcome to the channel. My name is Trent. I am the owner of Tabletop.ie. Support the business by going to our website. But yeah, bought these a while ago now, over six months ago, to see if we could uh, probably get some nice Shocklands because I am a big fan of these secret layers. I don't really agree with much of it in regards to some of its ethic policies, but in general, I think it has brought down the prices for a lot of the staples inside the game, and I think that's only a good thing. I was very up and added it at the uh, Walking Dead secret layers and the 250 euros uh, shock lands because the second market doesn't exist, and then their second lands are like only 100 euros for all the dual facing cards, so yeah, well, that's, that's gotta be it. I bought these so that we can fight uh, my friends, inside our nice little games that we can now host thanks to everyone being able to uh, meet up now because we're all vaccinated like responsible adults of course here we go first one June let's do it let's go now we're gonna get all the tree shock lands but we also get one bonus card here and the bonus card is going to be a planeswalker that is stained glass however there's a very small chance like one in eight chance that we will instead get a blueprint card. I'm not sure what that's going to be. Let's just see what it is. And if we're lucky, we can get the Eldrazi Monument, because that's the one I need. Swift Foot Boots, not really a big fan of it. But how do these things even open? Are they Velcro? Do I just... I'm just going to force it open. God damn it. Yeah, so it got stuck here. Somehow. Uh, how are we meant to open this thing elegantly? 30 euros and they couldn't even give you a satisfying opening experience. My god. Oh man, does that mean I have to destroy the rest of the boxes too? Or maybe this one was just over glued. Uh, who knows. Alright, the secret cards in there, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. Blood Crypt. Ooh, spicy. See how this thing just opens and peels like this? Pretty nice, I think. Okay. Ooh, you hear that? You hear that nice, lovely opening experience? Oh yeah. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and give a small little like to justify some of these bad purchases that I made. Oh, they're great purchases though. Because you're going to use them. There's the Blood Crypt and all its... Oh my god. Look at that. The most beautiful artwork I've seen on the Shockland. 
Got a nice little stomping ground with all the dinosaurs in the background. That's pretty neat. Okay. And we also get one overgrown tomb with a very nice statue of Queen March. Well, the king, I would assume. Queen Marchesta is not a man. Here we are. All right. Three beautiful shock lands. Pretty decent quality, guys. And of course, one very special card. And it is an Angric Captain of Chaos. Oh no, this is one of the worst ones you could have gotten. But you know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. We shall take it. Let's move on to Bant. What's wrong, Tuna? You want to sniff the pack? There you are. Okay. She's okay, folks. She's okay. She just does this all the time. Sure, we'll give her a couple of minutes and then she'll be back. Y'all are probably thinking that I'm a heartless monster, but no, actually, this, this cat is very special. She does this every single time. See, that's how it's meant to open. It opens up like that. For some reason, the other one was like really glued on. The adhesive was just bleh. But yes, hollow fountain, here you go. Hope you guys like the new camera, by the way. It's uh, cost us a pretty penny. If you saw the latest episode of our Irish Commander Nights, you'll see that it was uh, totally worth it. And you guys haven't checked that out yet, please be sure to, because it is pretty fun, assuming that you're into the actual uh, thing itself. Oh, that one has a little curve on it. Why is it curving? Is that a good sign or a bad sign? We'll find out in a second, right? A nice little hollow fountain. ETBs. You can play two, you play two life. If you do, it is, uh, it, if you don't, it enters in tap. You guys all know what that does. Temple Garden, of course. Same story, except it's green and white. And finally, we have a nice little breeding pool. Okay. Oh, man, the breeding pool looks sick. One thing you guys will notice about these ones is that they don't have the mana symbols on them. The magic has really gone to the point where they've had a couple of sets. They've been kind of experimenting quite a bit with all these lands. And in Forgotten Realms, there wasn't even like a mana symbol on the lands itself. Just a nice little flavor text, which I think is a nice way of just giving every land its own little flavor. This one is... Kind of, yeah, it's curved. And there's a big blotch of uh, adhesive up here. All right, what are you? You're an Ajani Great Hearted. Oh, wow. Not a bad card, actually. One of the uh, nice Lesnia sort of uh, planeswalkers here. And even though he's not worth too much, it is still something, guys. It is something. It's very sad that we can't get the Dreadhorde General or stuff like that. That would have been a great return on value. But sure, if we can get one, just one, guys. One blueprint card. It will make this entire experience worth it and pays back for multiples amount of these secret layers, of course. Oh man, I can give you guys a nice little zooming out on this later on. But so much packaging, I have you guys know for like, what, a couple of cards? Okay, there we are. Espa. Espa, Espa. So we back in the club. The rocking body from side to side, side to side to side. You guys were alive in the 2010s. That, that song's great. So we got a nice little hollow fountain yet again. There are going to be some dupes with this one, of course. Because all the colors do have overlays on them. And I'm not going to lie, some of them are pretty decent. Hollow fountain is pretty good. There's not a lot of good mana choices in white, although they have been changing it quite a bit with the recent times. Uh, yeah, let's have a nice little look at what we can get. A nice little hall of fountain. We saw it before. There you go. Watery Grave, a first one of these. Oh, Jesus, that's pretty. I love how it has, like, the little uh, details of all the corpses and the ships here. That's groovy. Okay. You'll be seeing a lot of these inside the next Commander uh, game. Oh, got this shrine. Love this. Oh, man. It has a nice little bolus uh, horns there. There we are. And our bonus card. Can we get it? Can we get a blueprint card? Come on. Can I get a blueprint? No, Dovin. You piece of crap, Dovin. It's not too bad, but again, guys, you're doing this because you want, you want to see the blueprint cards. I just want one, guys. Is it possible that I buy the entire set of Shocklands and we don't get one? 
Come on, which one is this this time? It's Grixis. Grixis, baby! Let's do it. Okay. You guys ready? When I say that, I just want to sing this opening song of Zoe 101. Oh man, another watery grave. That's good. That's beautiful. Look at this, another bonus card down there. Okay. All right, what we're gonna get? Okay, we have watery grave yet again. Very nice detail. Very happy to have a duplicate of this. Blood crypt again. Very nice dupe. Not gonna lie, probably go really well as like some sort of vampire deck here. And we get our first steam vents. Oh wow. Nice little geysers and all this nice stuff popping out. I love how it's just like a big zoomed out version of it. Although I'm not too sure why they didn't go for the borderless approach for this. Probably because they're saving it for some sort of showcase uh, product. We'll see later on. And what are we going to get? Come on. Come on. You get out of here. Get out of here. You are a Nicol Bolas. All right. Not actually too bad. It's one of the better ones you can get. Oh, wow. Also one of the stronger Planeswalkers inside a Planeswalkers deck, but I'll have you guys know. Pretty savage looking card in person. Jesus Christ, the amount of detail on this guy. Why could you not be a Liliana though? Toot, toot, toot. Ooh, if we can get a Nissa, Nissa would be very good for a lot of my decks that I don't currently have a lot of them for. What's wrong, Tuna? You okay? There you go. Yeah. Ah, there you go, you fat, you fat cat. You guys uh, can see it all now, can't you? You see how messy this thing can get. Our show is on Friday. No, we will save that one for later, actually. We want to get through all the shocks first, and I think we still have two shocks left, or one shock left. So this is the last one, I believe, which is the Naya. Okay. Last one, people, of the shock land bundles. Come on. Are we going to go all... Five of them, was it? Without getting one blueprint. Come on. Y'all ready for this? Ooh, I'm just another cat girl. God darn it, it's happened again. It's overly adhesive here. <sighs> Tuna, please don't play with the dice. I don't want to send you to the pound. Yeah, look at this. Finally, Jesus Christ, shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> That's what she said. All right, stomping grounds, guys, stomping grounds. Tuna, are you gonna bless the pack? Yeah, you blessed that. I already know it's gonna be in here, so I think. All right, people, all right. Stomping ground. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Turdy Euro product, really, people. Man, I can, can I just get one secret layer where nothing's damaged? All right, we've got a nice little stomping ground, a temple garden, of course, and, ah oh man, Sacred Foundry, you only get one of these. All right, I'm gonna put in like a damn complaint with the freaking manufacturer here. Man, I play with, Alright. It is what it is, yo. Okay? We'll take it up with the factory, the man above. Tuna must be engaged into people mode. Alright, Tuna. I've got a special task for you. Alright, Trash Mountain is going to be worried about later. But can you bless this pack, Tuna? Yo. Yo. Is she not feeling it? This isn't... This isn't got, oh, oh. Is it going to be it? Is it going to be a... No, it's going to be a Domery Anarch of Bolas. Ending it off with five Planeswalkers. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, guys. I'm not feeling great about this. Let's go to our next one. We have a Our Friday. Our show is on Friday. Can you make it? The ones that aren't the Shocklands. Let's go. 
another 30 euros, I believe. And this is one is one of the... Uh... Oh, actually, Romney, if you're watching this, uh, shout out to you as well. She, she was like, oh, these looks great. And I'm like, yeah, they look fantastic. If only they were worth something. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be fan freaking task of people. Again. Come on. Please. Wizards, please. You break my sacred foundry. You know what? Screw you and your stupid box. I'm moot. Let's do this. Okay. What's the bonus card? I actually don't know what the bonus card for this one's going to be. They gave you planeswalkers for the other ones because they match the color of the uh, things that we're trying to get, but... Oh, man. You know what? Not worth a lot, but man, if they're not cool. Wrath of God. Okay. I actually don't... Oh, actually, do I own one of these? I think I might from... Uh, I can't remember where it was I got my one from. It's Damnation that I need. Ah, I missed the Sebastian. But okay. Got the nice little Wrath of God here. Sorcery. Destroy all creatures. They can't be regenerated. Oh man, the eyeball. And the evil on the side. Got a nice little preordain. You guys know this is worth a couple of cents, right? But now, it's going to be... <laughs> People are going to love it. How do I even see the uh, mana cost? Oh, is this the mana cost? Yeah, so his, his forehead is the mana cost. Okay. That's not going to be confusing at all. Oh, but it is look, looking pretty trippy. Probably should have taken some drugs before I did this. The Kree of Pain. Oh, wow. This is one that hasn't been reprinted since one of the commander decks, if I recall correctly. If you cycle it, everything gets a minus two, minus two, which is a nice way of uh, getting rid of creatures as black. I mean, there are better ways, like a uh, Toxic Deluge, most definitely. But sure, it is what it is. And it draws you a card. For five mana. Oh, my God. Gamble. <laughs> the only uh, red shooter that can get you exactly what you want, but you have to gamble. Sure, it is what it is. But I like it. Look at that. Got a nice little sword splitting in half. That's what it is, yo. And then you got Nature's Lore. Extremely, it was a very pricey card now. It wasn't reprinted for the longest time until the Commander decks uh, recently from the Forgotten Realm. I think before then it was only worth like a, it was around a tenner. And now it's gone down to like five or three euro. But this particular version of it, I'm pretty sure it's going to uh, keep its value, as is most of the cards inside this set. Because, you know, they look freaking sick. That's what they do. Kind of wish I got the first ones though. Yeah, sure, it is what it is. Let's take a look at the bonus card, Tuna. You want to give it a little lucky, lucky uh, sniffy? She don't care. She don't care. But all right, can we get one blueprint card? Come on. No. An Arlen, voice of the pack, stained glass mode. How dare you? All right, there's only one more pack left to open everyone and thank you so much for being here for the entire journey because god knows i am having a little bit of a fit thinking oh jesus i spent how much on shock lands ah sure i'll probably keep these to myself that i actually look at them they're like oh it's mine my precious i will have to put in a complaint for the sacred foundry now Okay, so showcase Strixhaven. Showcase Strixhaven. This is the one with even worse uh, deals, wasn't it? And this one is the one that has the Mystic Archive cards. All right, that went out pretty easy. Sure. Fractured Identity. And one random card at the bottom. Can we do it, people? Can we get one blueprint card? If it's one in eight, I definitely opened up seven so far. And this is going to be the eighth one, isn't it? Or even more. People are going to be all like, Trent, where you get all them cool cards? Bought it off the internet. Alright, no damage to these ones at least. Got a nice little Fracture Identity. Pretty decent. Exile non-land permanent. Each player other than that's controller creates a token that's a copy of it. Pretty trippy card to play inside a game. Nice little Drown the Lock. Very much a staple card back in the uh, standard format when Eldrain was still around. Very much still uh, a thing inside Rogue decks as well. And it's perfectly fine. It's really sad that it came at a time where it's like rotating out, but sure, it is what it is. And man, is that not sick? 
Got a nice little fracturing gust in case you guys don't have your uh, bane in progress around. Destroy all artifacts and enchantments, you gain two life for each permanent destroyed this way. So another way for you to destroy stuff in Selesnia, which isn't too bad actually. Artifact mutation, destroy target artifact, it can't be regenerated, create an X11 green sapling token where X is that artifact's mana value, so not too bad. Not too bad. And the artwork of these is just phenomenal. Not too sure I'm going to be seeing any practical use of them, but sure. This additional cost, pay X, deals X damage as you divide, the damage divided as you choose among number of target creatures, okay. So kind of a weird crackle of power with the instant speed and it's, uh, and it's a Grixis color, of course. Or it's two colors. And our last card's going to be, I think, all this dust, isn't it? Yeah, all this dust. Nice little drowsy, destroying all the non-land permanents they control that are one or more colors. So it's sacrificed now. So this inside the Turgor deck is actually going to wreck a lot of stuff. All but the monocolor stuff. Which is, uh, if I'm going to be honest, we, we see a lot of monocolor stuff. But... A lot of people do run double colors. And now, for the final thing. You guys think we're gonna have it? Oh god, I can't do it. Please, 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 please. Fuck off. It's a jumpstart land. Why? Wizards, why do you do this? Why do you do this? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, one in eight chance of getting a darn blueprint card. Don't have a blueprint card. You know what I do have? A damaged sacred foundry. This is my TED talk. Thanks very much for coming. And thanks very much for watching you guys. That's our video for today. I'm just gonna pet tuna a little bit to get rid of the aftertaste of the mal intent that was given to me by the secret lair drop series and by not giving me one of the uh, blueprint cards. I know they exist. You think I don't know they exist? I, I see them on Reddit all the time, guys. I see them on Reddit all the time.